Vodheads, welcome in. I am, in fact, including Vodheads in this. Um, this is going to be a little bit of like a slapdash kind of stream. Uh, I'm just kind of throwing this together as it happens. Mix, mix with Zaf Gallic and Nak. Zap, ga, z ha! Mix with Zach Galifianakis. Thank you, Joy. I appreciate it. Seven days of Galifianakis. Ah! Okay. Hi, Vodheads. Welcome. It is currently three in the morning. Um, this is not a return to ungodly hours, evening stream, we're living in chaos, uh, stream times, Penny. This is a very special occasion. Um, the kind of occasion that only Final Fantasy XIV can provide me. Um... Today is the release of the Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail Benchmark. Now, if you do not know what a what a benchmark is, why it's important, um, there's a couple there's a couple of things that are making this benchmark particularly special. So, if you don't know, a benchmark is basically a piece of software that you run on your computer to see how well a program or a game or whatever will run on your hardware. It basically runs through like a test environment that stress tests your hardware and says, okay, here's here's how well you're going to be able to run this whole thing. So, uh, a, a benchmark for Final Fantasy XIV, they release one for every single expansion, and it is to give you an idea of how well your computer can run the upcoming expansion, if you might need to upgrade, yada, yada, yada. Um, up through A Realm Reborn to Endwalker, the system requirements for the game have not really changed much. Um, but with the release of Dawn Trail, with the release of Dawn Trail, we are getting our first ever graphical overhaul for the game. They're implementing a major graphics update for this new expansion, which is not only fantastic in its own right um, and is looking very promising based off of the previews that we've seen. Um, I'm tired, Penny. Go to bed. <laughs> you don't have to be here. It's not my problem. You take care of yourself. Don't put that on me. Um... So not only are we getting a graphics overhaul, but also with this benchmark, we are going to be able to see uh, options and create uh, a new race of character in the game. Female Hrothgar, which are just like crazy lion women. <laughs> and they're really cool. And I can't wait. I have downloaded unexpected end of archive. I don't know what that means. Um, I have downloaded the... I've downloaded the benchmark. The archive is... What are you talking about? Corrupt. Here, I have to re-download it, I guess. Telling me the archive is corrupt. I think the benchmark is borked. I can't unzip it. Yeah, the same thing's happening for me. Hold on. Oh no. Did they upload a broken file? Whoa. Uh -oh. I hope not. It's working for me so far. Okay, maybe I just gotta. The app opened. Okay, maybe it's a. Uh... Maybe it's just a little, a little fluke. Let me reload the page. How big is it for you? Oh, you know what? I was downloading ones that were like one gig. The new one is three gigs. Three, 3.9. I, I think I just got the right one. Okay, so 
given that this here i'm gonna i'm gonna turn off the salmon theme bye for us stamp uh bow wow, wow, bow, wow, wow i send you off into the good night uh in love um okay this stream is gonna be a little silly a little experimental because i want to do some like on the fly comparisons between the current game character creator versus the new benchmark. So here's what I'm going to do. If I can if I can manage it. I'm going to pull up the game on my PS5 and have a side by side of that which should be essentially the highest graphical quality of the current game. And I'm going to try to have that like side by side with um with the current with the new benchmark for certain bits here but then w once i get into like doing hroth gals and everything i'll probably just i know it's late <laughs> i know it's late i can see the clock it's a special occasion you don't understand don't come in here telling me it's late i get it uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know if it would be like more trouble than it's worth. Because like, I know I would be interested. In. I know I would be interested in seeing the side by side. I really want to just like go through and peruse. I think I got to do that because it's it's something I have been like desperately wanting to do. So here's. So I have I have the benchmark. Let me see if the let me see if it'll actually open. <laughs> okay. So far so good. Holy shit, it's happening. Okay. Um all right, I got settings open. Oh baby, the new settings menu. Oh. <laughs> Literally on the first page they they got the upscaling options. I am so so happy. Oh, it's interesting. You actually can't, um, you actually can't choose like a quality threshold for DLSS. I wonder how that works then. Hmm. Well, no matter. You can't, you can't, uh, uncheck dynamic resolution on that either, which is a bit of a bummer. Okay. So here's, here's what I'll do. The stream did just start. This is this is not going to be I'm just going to I'm just going to tell you right now. This is not going to be your average haha -ha funny I'm playing through a video game snap cube stream. I'm here for me but also to share this wonderful and meaningful experience uh with you. In the same breath. So hopefully you understand. Okay. Yeah, we got we got lion girls incoming. We got lion girls incoming. So here's hmm. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Okay, I think I think here's here's how I want to do it. Here's how I want to do it. I'm gonna add like a bespoke new um. Elgato source here. The download just stalled for me. Ooh, oh no. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy. I, I managed to grab it. Okay. We'll just name this N Walker footage and we'll um we'll throw my if gamer ultra at it if I can. You know what? I might have to turn this one off first before I can activate. Hold on. Deactivate that. And then can we get Oh.
Sorry, it's being... It's choosing to be a little weird, which is understandable. I have thrown a weird situation at it. You know what? I have, a, I have an idea. I have an idea. Actually, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say, fuck it. I'm going to fuck with my existing, uh, my existing Elgato stuff. As much as I hate to do it. Um, I would rather just have to reset this later and deal with the consequences than worry about trying to get a new one to work because it's going to be it's going to be strange. OK, so what we're looking at is the current game. I'm going to have this on. Just kind of like available to look at. Um, so let's. Pull up into. The new character menu. Oh, you know what? Actually, first thing. First thing I want to do is set this to 4K draw quality. Which will. Make the comparison a little more flattering on the on the end walker. Like my sailor gloom Sa sailor gloom is what I just said. Sailor moon glam. It is. Listen, I know I just like yelled at people for coming in here and saying it's late. It is late. I apologize if that becomes increasingly clear through my uh, <laughs> through my my fumbles and stumbles. OK, so I'm going to I'm going to leave this guy right here um, and I'm actually going to like drag him over. This way, I think. I'm gonna drag him over this way. And kind of kind of cut off. This. You know, what, actually, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go the other way, other way around. Let's let's take you over here because people people like the left to right comparisons in my in my region. OK, so we're going to leave you like right. Here, I think I think that should be good. Just give give me room to like zoom in potentially. And then we're going to lock that. How does that look? OK, cool. So now we're, we're not going to touch that for a little bit. We're not going to touch that for a bit. That's just going to be hanging out. So first thing, first things first. Let's take a look. At just like. The the introductory vibes of the Dawn Trail character creator here because you can see right here this is what we're looking at we can kind of like cycle through different environments here and we can get like we can get like a side by side look at it later but for now just get a general idea of the vibe and like quality level so i'm gonna i'm gonna hop in once i get my settings figured out so let's let's get those figured out um i'm not going to share this part because i don't want to share my desktop even though there's a very cool background of Aerith on there, uh, and uh, into Twink Jail, listen. Sometimes you gotta you gotta send them on over. I'm going to try with Nvidia DLSS. I really wish there was like a noticeable way to. Uh, I wish there was like a noticeable way to change the quality mode on on DLSS. Why is this slightly off center? Literally been describing it the whole time. <laughs> LED on distant objects. Enable dynamic grass interaction. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Um, I'm not turning on LOD. Fuck you. I want every item at max quality forever. Transparent lighting quality. High. Grass quality. High. Parallax occlusion. High. Tessellation. High. Shadows self, other NPCs display. Uh shadow resolution high to 2048 P. Oh, baby. Shadow cascading best. I I think I basically just have cat shadows at maximum. I think I have everything set to maximum. New a new ambient occlusion option. GTAO quality. We love that. Enable depth of field. Yes, thank you. 
Okay, we're almost ready. We're gonna set this to full screen, uh, 4K. Sound settings, ooh, let's get master volume down to like 30. Go ahead and get that setting there. Okay. Disable logo and benchmark score display because I already know my PC is gonna be able to handle this. I am well above the recommended requirements. We're gonna go. Um, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I've saved my settings. Let's open the character creator and see. Hold on. Oh, I'm so excited. Come on. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, I'm actually kind of... I'm actually kind of crazy. What the fuck? The immediate fucking improvement. Are you kidding me? Like, obviously, like, obviously, that's a different guy. Again, we'll get some direct comparisons going on later, but like. Oh, my God. Listen, it is so noticeable on my end. If you're watching, if you're if you're watching the VOD version, here's here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. People watching live, you might not be able to see just like the immediate difference on my end. Also, this is running at 30 frames per second, I think, because of some weird shit going on with my. uh uh nvidia settings it might uh here now that i've not to like edge myself too much here sorry <laughs> that's gross um let me let me let me fix some stuff one sec one sec because let me I'm, i i keep getting like a it, it's late it's allowed we we are in the after hours slot you're absolutely right I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. Um, I had it set to a 30 frames per second cap earlier because I I wanted to do something a little sillier with it that I'm glad I did not try to do now. So we're gonna set it back to 60 FPS cap. Oh my god, it looks so good. I'm I'm insane. The lighting, just the the difference in like lighting on his face, how much more like detailed and like natural it looked. I'm I'm already freaking out. Okay. I'm going to try and see I'm going to try and see if it'll accept a borderless window now and still do it at 4K. Looks like it. Let's see. I'm noticing I get I get an encoding overloaded message when I uh boot up the game. Hold on. I'm not accepting the the thing anymore. Everything's going wrong here. Maybe I just put it back on window capture. Okay. I keep getting like a weird encoding overload message when I boot the game up, but then when it loads in, it's fine. It's like it's I think it's like I don't know, it's do it's doing something weird that I hope will not be the case when the game actually comes out. I think it's just a benchmark quirk. I, I doesn't doesn't the benchmark like kind of dump information when you oh my god he looks so good sorry I'm a little crazy okay oh my god is he hi <laughs> thank you so much for the raid hi we are taking a look at the new uh Final Fantasy 14 Dawn Trail benchmark it's so late it's so late thank you so much for dropping by it's so good to see you how, how are y'all doing I'm fucking insane right now oh my god okay 
Look at the the, 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 the leather material on the jacket. Looks so good. Okay. Very, very quick context. Just so that my reactions here make sense, y'all. Final Fantasy XIV is my favorite game of all time. The new graphics update is coming out uh, with the new expansion this summer. Um, but right now we just got the benchmark, which is kind of allowing us to like kind of play with it a little bit, play with the character creation and see how it looks and see how it runs ahead of time. So this is this is huge for me. It looks so much better. OK, um, here's here's what I'm going to do. I can already oh, am I actually am like not ready. I'm like not ready to bring up Pella. I'm like not ready. I think. <laughs> okay. Here's. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Here, can I um? Can I bring up Pella on? Can we just get like a quick view of Pella on on the main screen? Okay. You know what? Let's actually. Let's like go, I'm gonna go in game for this for a second. Also, yeah, Pella, Pella is a hero again, by the way. The indecision continues. We've truly entered Pella world. I'm used to it by now. I really, I'm, I'm really feeling hero Pella this time. You know what it was? You know what it was? We got the new um we got the new Final Fantasy 16 gear, the um the Clive outfit and the tail was oh yeah, I'm at Bostra. Uh the tail was um like the tail was clipping through the cape on Makote in a way that really like pissed me off. So I I changed her body. For some reason, none of my settings are working right now. It feels like like I can't jump in the game. That's okay. As long as we can. No, that's not. What am I? Hold on. Something's not right. Don't look at the fact that I have Roblox on my home screen, <laughs> please. I'm begging you. Everything is weird about this. Is it just that, um... Oh, it's because I had- it's because I had the map open. Oh my god, and I couldn't see it because I was looking at the little cutoff preview. Okay. I see. I see what's going on. I opened the map without knowing it, and it was, like, ruining all- okay, got it. Here. Let's- let's get in here. All right, now, Chad, I want you to be, uh... Hold on. Is this what I'm thinking it is? Yes. Okay, be normal about this, okay? It is the after-hour stream. We can be adults. I'm just here to get, like, a... Here, actually, maybe this won't be the most accurate, because I think... <laughs> all of my... All of my glams are not built for uh, PS5 right now. I haven't played on this console in a little bit. Okay. Let's just let's just use this as like a quick reference. Here's here's a quick little peek. Now, just just fair warning. Oh, you know what? Actually, oh shit, wait. Here's I'm I'm insane. Here's here's what we can do. I'm sorry. Uh Not this. Uh, what, what am I looking for? What job has... No. Oh, I mean, that's cute as fuck, but that's not what I'm going for. One sec.
Uh, where's the outfit? Where's the outfit? There it is. There it is. Let's bring up the esthetician. Because we can, we can pretty easily enter a... a comparable state. Like, right away. Okay. So, let me find... Oh. Here, I gotta go to my... Let me go back to my TV for this. Okay, let me find the hair that I'm using on this profile. I believe it is this one. Yeah, that's gonna look cute. Okay. So we'll confirm that. Then we'll switch to attire. Now she doesn't have the oh. Come on. Okay. So now we have we have a quick look at what Pure Pella looks like in the current graphics engine up against its background and everything. Okay, now we pull back the I really wish this was working so I didn't have to use desktop capture. That's okay. We'll, we'll roll with it. We'll pull this back up. Let's bring up character creation and we pull in your fellow <laughs> hold on god why is the ui so big oh <laughs> holy shit oh she's so crisp oh my god the eyes do you see oh Look at the eyes! Look at the eyes! You don't, you don't get that shit here! Look at that! Oh my god! Whoa! Okay, hold on. Then let's see how the... I really wish the UI was not this fucking big. I have the UI set to, like, scale with the resolution. I didn't know it would scale this much. We're gonna work with it. For a second. I will, I will reopen this and fix that so that... We can get a good look later. Oh man. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing, the the freckles are still like super low res. I do really hope they kind of touch that up later. That was that was what that was one thing I was kind of worried about, but so far, so good. Let's look, hold on. Look at a different lighting environment. Why is it like so it's so foggy out? Ugh. Okay, but you, you want to know one thing I am immediately noticing about about this this new version? The anti-aliasing shimmer is completely gone. So like, this is something you probably will only be able to see even a little bit if you watch the 4K version on YouTube, but like straight up, uh if I were to go to the Gridania, I don't, I don't know if you can see, but not only are like the shadows flickering like mad, but also there's like a very distinct like, if you look at like the the leaves in the background, where you can kind of see like the light like peeking through the leaves. Every time there's like motion, there's like a just like a little aliasing shimmer that just made it just has driven me insane uh for years with this game and they finally fixed it not only by adding like other anti-aliasing options but also just like dlss fixing the problem entirely i am actually noticing um this is like the old these are like old uh grass assets aren't they we're not seeing like the new the new grass in this area. It doesn't look like it's the new ground texture either. Hold on. Yeah, that's like the same. Oh, it, uh, you know what? It actually it has a little bit of that detail map they were talking about. I think I think we probably will have to wait until um 
the full release for like the full environment updates. This is probably just using like the same environment from like the original character creator files, which is why it maybe looks a little weird. Yeah, yeah, probably to keep the size down. Yeah, I I imagine. Um, yeah, in terms of like the environment surrounding them, we're going to be getting a much bigger overhaul when the expansion actually releases. So I I will take a look at it then, too, because I'm noticing the new lighting systems and everything are kind of interacting with this old map in like kind of a, an interesting way. Uh, but like, man, it does still look really good. If nothing else, it looks fantastic just for the the fix in the shimmering and like the new character model. It, it just looks insane. Let's let's switch to um old Da. Or uh what is this area called? Annalyn. Oh my god, she looks so good. I, I you know I really wish it was not like I wish it wasn't like overcast right now. What is going on? You you sometimes get that with the character creation menu. Sometimes it'll just get like weirdly dim. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I was I was literally just at Pickle Breath. I was just about to say the like the light glinting off like the nose. Oh my god, she looks so good. Wait, actually, one thing I haven't really looked. Oh my god, the gear! Wait, the gear! Oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, can we like Can I can I get an environment that is not shrouded in fucking darkness, please? Okay. Can we fucking look at this? Oh, here we go, here we go. Uh I have to go back to my screen for this. One sec. Let's go to the Oh, I can't get like a like a height. Right, because I'm only at the esthetician for this. Here, okay, well I'll just get the best look that I can. Look at Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. Are you kidding me? What? Oh my god, it looks so good. I could cry. The materials look so good in person. I'm literally so emotional. This is everything I ever wanted. Oh my god. Oh my god, she looks amazing. I'm insane. Okay. So here's here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna finalize. I'm gonna finalize uh Pella for this benchmark. I'm going to run the benchmark uh on my computer, and we'll take a look at it with Pella in there. And then when I'm done watching the benchmark with Pella inserted into Meteor Spot. Um, I will come back to the character creation menu and we'll do more of like the side by side thing if y'all are interested or at minimum, we'll take a look at her off guard. I'm saving, I'm saving some of the best for last here. Oh my God. I'm literally just, I'm just so, oh, here we go. Lighting's a little better now. <laughs> the new shadows. Oh my God. It's like not, it's not like, I don't know if this is something y'all can notice in like the Gridania environment here. But like, do you see the difference in like, like look at the way the shadows are flickering on her face versus like there's still movement, but it's not like, it's not the same kind of like shimmering, you know? Like it looks like it's just actually representing like the way the leaves are moving. It's just so much more like in depth. Oh my God, she looks amazing. Okay, um, so let me, let me figure out. Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> wait, hold on, wait. Oh shit, I didn't even consider. I didn't even consider that this would be here. The new hair. Oh my God, hold on. Hold on a second. She's kind of sick with it. Oh shit, hold on, wait. Can we like look at the, Wait, can we get some new uh, unique poses going on here and take a look at the hands? Let's do the same for... The 
hand do the hands look noticeably better? Oh my god, they do. What are the highlights on the new hairstyle? I will take a look for you. Um, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, they're kind of just like all the way. Here, let me switch back to standing. Again with the fucking overcast. Can you stop? Can we get like a consistent lighting zone here? You know what, actually, that's what this is. What am I doing? Boom, there we go. Oh, you know what I, you, you know I want to take a look at? Oh, my voice, I'm sorry, it's so late. Um, let me really quickly. So I've always been kind of underwhelmed with how the indoor lighting looks. Uh, it tends to look like a little too flat, a little too dark for my taste. Um, I'm wondering if that has improved at all with the new like global illumination systems and everything. So let's get like, let's get like, um, yeah, like that shot. That looks, that should be a, a decent comparison. Let's see. Let me pull it up on my end. Oh, man. Whoa. You know, you, you know what I'm noticing? Okay. So I'm noticing, I don't think I dialed in my um, brightness settings on the benchmark. So next time we, we loop around to comparisons, I'll be sure to get that right because there is definitely noticeably more contrast on the old one, but that's because I have my brightness set like really low. Oh my God, it's so much better though. The textures immediately are like a huge improvement, but also like the bloom looks a bit more natural. You can see like the light kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just, it definitely, I mean, at the very least, the character is like lit more naturally in this environment, which has been a huge issue um, indoors for me personally. Cause like you can actually, I mean on this one you can actually fucking see, you can like see her. Uh, oh, okay. Um, let me switch back to my ideal setup here. I forgot. I forgot what I had it set at. Oh god. Something like that. Okay. We're gonna um we're gonna finish this up here and then we'll run the benchmark. That's really cute. Oh my god, she looks so good. I'm <laughs> crazy. It actually like it's so funny. Um I feel like it hasn't really like s like sunk in just how meaningful this is to me. Y you know what it is? You know what it is? Um, <clears throat> it's because like, it's because I used up so much of my energy screaming about it last night. I kind of got, like if you were seeing me react to so many of these announcements on Twitter, I got, I, I got my hype like out of my system last night. So I think I'm just like enjoying it. I'm really just like savoring it right now. <clears throat> Can we see Makote Pella? That's a good question. I, I sure would like to. Well, uh, we'll do that after I, I, I get uh, current Pure Pella. Her you know what? Here, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're just gonna reload the basics here. There we go. Okay. So. No butt slider, unfortunately. Can't win them all. Your style looks good to me. Color jaw. Eye shape. Do we have any new? Oh, is that new? I don't think, I don't think that's new. That's not new, is it? I'm trying. I'm trying to find any like new options. Let me know if there are any that I miss. 
Did they make the darker skins less ashy? Yes, actually. Um, they, well, like they, they tried to update, or I, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know why I'm saying try. They, um, they updated like the lighting systems of like all the skin tones. So if you see like the darker skin tones, they have like a much more kind of like natural like highlight to them. It's so, it's so sick. They, they showed that off a ton. Yeah, they look so nice. There's two new voice preview sections for Battle Grunts. That's, that's actually great. We can finally avoid the... Yeah! Yeah! Or, alternatively, we can get a lot more of it on purpose, which is more likely what's gonna happen. Um, I love Nose Type 5 for Midlander. I'm a big Nose Type 5 fan. Super cute. I'm also a Nose Type 2 fan. Just so you know. Big fan of women. Gotta be one of my favorite genders. Ooh, what about the new... How did the... Oh my god. I'm begging. I am begging for some... Oh, here we go. This is what... Just that direct shot on the skin. Oh, baby. How, how does the lip color... Okay. Ooh! That's really nice, actually. That's such an... Oh, that's such a... That's such a nice tint. Whoa, baby. Actually, I might, uh... I might go for something like that. That's really cute. Holy moly. God, the lips look so much better. I'm actually, I'm actually insane. Um, I'll keep that. Keep that. Oh, you know what? Did I look at eyebrows, dif eyebrow differences at all? Oh, the eyebrows look really nice. I, I mean, they didn't look bad before. They're just eyebrows, but it's, I'm, I'm taking everything. Any new face paint? No. That's all pretty standard. And all, yeah, these are like the exact same textures. I do really hope we get um, some slightly up face paint textures, but at, at this point, like, it's just nitpicks, honestly. Uh, can we get... Uh... Oh my god. Ugh, it looks so good. Oh yeah! Oh shit, there are... Oh, that, that's really good, actually. That's great. This laugh is such a different vibe from every other thing here, by the way. I love this voice because these two do not sound like they belong with the same voice. <laughs> that's like two different people. I love it. That's that's my vibe. It really is my vibe. Okay. I could just, I literally could just rotate her face in the new lighting environment all day. Ugh. Whoa. Okay. No more dilly dallying, shilly shallying. Uh <laughs> Giggling giggler. So true. Okay, what are we looking at in terms of uh, gear options? Yep, okay, we got the, oh baby, ooh. Holy moly, she she belongs in this outfit, but let's see what else we got. We can, of course, if we really want to, oh shit, they have new, ah, they have Clive. Oh shit, the Clive fit, oh my God. Oh, whoa. 
What? Just like ripped directly out of the game at this point. It this interacts really well with everything, but but let's look at let's look at some other stuff. Lucian Prince. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to tell what looks good because it has new textures. I can't tell if this is the new like material shaders on this one. This one, oh, you know what? It's, it's hard to tell. I actually don't. I, I can't tell if this is the new shaders or not. I don't look at this outfit enough. It does look really good is the thing about it. Oh, this is almost certainly updated. I feel like. The way the light is bouncing off of it makes me think. Almost certainly. Final Fantasy X. Oh. Oh. So good. FF9. Oh, you know, you know they went back and updated this one because this is the FF9 expansion. This looks great. You know, I'm actually still having trouble telling with some of these other ones. That I'm that I'm just not familiar with, like looking at. Like if if you handed me like, I don't know, I can't think of a gear. If you handed me like any of the like the uh, crypt lurker gear, I could probably tell you if it's updated or not. Man heart. This looks relatively untouched. I think honestly, I think. Uh, a lot of these just kind of look better because the overall way that the light like contours the character is a little more in depth, I think. I think a lot of these are just like by default getting a better presentation. The strife gear. Oh, it's hard to tell with the strife gear too. I don't I don't think this is updated, no. I, th I think one big tell is gonna be the metal parts. I think that the metal part still looks a little too... Well, actually, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, let me let me scroll up a little bit, because I'm not gonna wear like any of these. Yeah, very specific. Dreadworm gear. Oh, this is definitely updated. This one is definitely upgraded. Without question. Um, this one's hard to tell. This one, almost certainly, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pick one. I think... I'm kind of torn between... Uh, this and <laughs> the swine suit. No, the uh, Clive fit. Or maybe I go FF9. What do you think, chat? You know what? You know what? We're, we're, we're doing the Viper fit. At least to start. We can run it again if we really want to. But we're gonna... We're gonna do that one. So let me... um. Let me confirm really quick. <laughs> She's just in in her in room. Okay. Two two things I want to change before we run the benchmark. One, gamma correction. Yeah, that was all the way at 50. I usually keep it at like five for my screen. Okay, so let's save that. And then other settings, scale UI elements during character creation off. Okay. Now. This is going to be, again, this is going to be less of a performance test for me and more of just like looking at my pretty character play dolls with all the other fun scenarios. And then we're going to dive right back into the character creator. Um, but even still. Let's go. All 
I actually do wonder. I will be I will be taking a look at um my GPU usage. Oh. She looks so good. I'm crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's Pella. Welcome back to Pella World. not a single bit of shimmering or flickering in sight. I'm actually like, I could cry. This, this game is, it's, it's, they fixed like nearly everything. Oh my God, it looks so good. It look, actually looks so good. It's not, it's not like a fucking like noisy mess in the background. It like, it just looks like something happening on my screen. Oh my god, and her, her expressions, too. Midlander female looks more expressive. I wonder if they improved face rigging. They at the very least mentioned that they standardized the amount of polygons and everything across all of the races now. So everything kind of is working from like the same structural baseline. Oh my god. Okay, at this part, my GPU is getting up to like 70%, and that's that's with OBS running and streaming and recording. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm like, I'm I'm all set. But of course, I knew that. Streamer flexing. Okay. Can I just say, I am still, I am still crazy about the, but I wish I could like, I wish I could like pause this. You can, <laughs> I just exited it, I think. I just pressed escape. <laughs> uh, anyone want to go again? I escaped. And now she's just in the, in the in room. We're we're gonna go again. I just wanted I just wanted to test it. Pella World again. Pella World two. Pella World three. Pella World you. Pella World you. Pella World me. I'm watching again. I don't care. Honestly, I was um. I was looking at the background for a lot of those introductory shots anyway. So I I I wanna I wanna just look at Pella. This upcoming shot really does accentuate the the low res face paint issue. So I, I really, really hope that's in the final build. I'm I'm sure it's I'm sure it's something they've considered. Yeah, they, they clean up the models a lot. They they talked about a lot of that end of it. This this graphics update, honestly is just as much about streamlining their their like development pipeline as it is about like having something fancy to show like new players like hey our game looks pretty now looks like an actual like ps4 game now it's like it's like both purposes simultaneously for them oh my god she's so pretty <laughs> The skin looks so good. It 
It also looks so much more colorful now. Yeah, you know, and, and you know what? I've been noticing in a lot of the comparison shots that the overall color space of the game has been like heightened. And, and you know what it is? You, you know what it absolutely is? It's the global illumination. Because now instead of like everything just kind of like being its color and just like sitting there in, in space, the light is more realistically bouncing those colors around the environment. So if, if there's a lot of like earthy tones in an environment, you will get those like bouncing around and onto your character and through reflections and everything. And it actually like tints the area in a much more natural way. Like I, I'm straight up, I'm looking at this like on my screen and I'm like, I don't immediately feel like I have to put reshade on this. I, I might still like play around with like color palette reshades and stuff, but I straight up do not think I'm gonna actually like adjust the visuals much when Dawn Trail comes out. I will probably put like um and if and if Susu shade like LUT on there just to change like the color tone to something a little more consistently warm, which is my preference, but yeah, other than that. It's just it looks it looks perfect. They actually like they went so above and beyond so many of my expectations with this update. <laughs> can, you, can you hit the escape key? No. The materials are insane. Oh my god. The claw, the new, like, the new gear is, it's gonna look so good. There she is. Incoming cryo moment. How does cryo look in person? Oh my god. She, lo she looks so good. Straight up, I'm like, I'm not kidding. Even watching the, like, watching the 4K version of the benchmark reveal on YouTube was like, until now, the best that this update had ever been represented. But it still did not even remotely do justice to how it looks sitting on my screen right now. Look, Lamont looks so good. There, There is actually just something so important to like seeing it in front of your face to really like understand the nuances of everything and like actually get to like take that in yeah the new astrologian gear oh my god i'm so crazy about it the robe the material on the robe looks so nice the tilting mount's the biggest change of all time i was popping off about that it makes me so insane and that is that and like the the pitching and yawing mounts the grass moving while you walk through it the new upscaling like dlss fsr oh, there are so many of just like these little the, oh the new like um the way that npcs like their eyes will kind of like jitter around when they're idly standing in the overworld this is what i mean when i say like they're going above and beyond like they're adding so many little details aside, like beyond just like the basic, like texture changes, lighting changes, like they're, they're putting so much into this and it really does like bring it together. Hello Blast. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like talking over this. I'm like gonna wanna watch this again because I have just, oh my God. Oh, I took, I took the screenshot when she was, whoa. Oh, it's looping. That makes sense. Um, here, the volume is still a little too loud. I I feel like I'm like shouting over it. It's my bad. Here, let's 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 bring that volume back down to like fifteen. Um, yeah. I, oh my god, this it's so good. It's so fucking good. Frame rate threshold always on. What does that mean? Oh, you know what? I wonder if that sort of... Hmm. 
I don't know what always on means. I'll have to I'll have to experiment with that and see how it looks and how it runs. That might be why it's still running so high on my GPU. I just put clairvoyance on HD. I'm going insane. You'll have to show it to me after I'm done streaming. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go into your office and see some of your some of your creations. Okay. Speaking of creations, you know what? I'm gonna um I'm gonna run I'm gonna run the like the actual benchmark one more time. I want to test this setting really quick and see if it changed anything. Um, and then I'm gonna make a Hrothgal after that. I keep having to switch between game capture and window capture because the windows keep getting closed. And it's just, it's having a hard time like hooking onto some of these. Wonder Vieira's nose has got fixed, seeing as how the last preview eliminated the bunny bunny like nose. I am I'm certain it's gonna be a lot better in the final. If if you look really closely at the screenshots, it's not even eliminated. Like it it is still there. It's just I you know what I think it is? It's that the 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 bunny nose like accenting is being overlaid onto the darker skin tone, and I think that it's blending a little more naturally in the new example, and it's not really supposed to be as like stand out as it is in the previous example, though it ends up being like a happy accident that it looks really cute. Um, <clears throat> that would be my guess. Also, um, I am turning the previous setting back on because that was flickering in a very weird way that I did not like. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I, I think you're going to be able to like, kind of get the same effect in the final version. If I had to guess. Let me switch wallpaper engine to, because right now I have a space channel five lady dancing in 3D in the background. <laughs> and I really do not need that right now while I'm running benchmarks and, and shit like that. Let me. <laughs> like, it's a, it's a great vibe. It's a great vibe and normally it doesn't get in the way, but just just better safe than sorry. Okay. Um, it's time. Time to make a it's time to make a Hroth gal. Let's let's fucking go. What's my mouse doing? Oh, it's F. And switch that back to wired. That's much more comfortable. Okay. Um, sorry, old uh N Walker Pella. She's still she's still just hanging out in here. Oh my god, it's gonna be so hard. I mean, it's not gonna be that hard. I'll get used to it pretty quickly, but it's going to be so sad to like continue playing the game as is after diving so deep into these new settings. You you know what though? You know what's going to help is that we're still not seeing the the environmental overhaul with this um well, except for the benchmark itself, but aside from that, we're still seeing the previous games like character creation environment. Okay, so now the UI is very small, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna create a character. We are oh, you know what? Let's really quickly before we make a Hrothgal, let me let me pull up Pella Prime. 
Let's see some Makote. Hello. Oh my god! Wait, hold on a second. The, the hair? Are you kidding me? Holy shit! This looks a little more expected. <laughs> As expected. Um, oh man, some of these hairstyles though look so good. Some of these updates are insane. Oh! Oh, <laughs> she looks so good! Oh man. I guess I made it, yeah. Oh, oh, what about this hairstyle? Yes. Yes. Oh my god. All right, and then of course two more, some of the best hairstyles in the game for Mikote whenever I play this one and peak hairstyle incoming. Which one is it? Which one is it? Where is it? Where are you? Oh, it's right here. Right next to it. Oh man. You know what? I'm going to say <clears throat> I'm a little I'm a little whelmed by this one. It looks it looks very nice. It looks sharper. It looks a lot more natural as well, which is which is cool. I I'm a tiny bit whelmed by this one. Not even underwhelmed, just whelmed. Oh, that's a that's a Makote though. That's a Makote Pella. Wow, holy shit. The new face lighting looks so much more natural. I'm insane. Look at how like smoothly it like contours around her face. You can like see her in areas. You can see her in areas doing things and being visible. Okay, let's go back. Y'all wanna see some damn fur shaders? I wanna see some fur shaders. Let's start from scratch. Oh, baby. Hold on. All right, let's get that Gridania look going. The new starting gear is insane. The new starting gear is crazy. Oh, you know what? Oh, holy shit! What the fuck? How are you allowed to look that good? How are you? How are you allowed to look that good? The skin? Look at her skin! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? This is a different fucking game. This is this is like the Final Fantasy 14 Kingdom Hearts 4 crossover character model. You know? Like this is not real. And then, of course, for all you boy lovers out there, I haven't forgotten. Oh my god. The new gear. The new gear looks so good. Oh, and the Elizans. Oh my god, ma'am. Ma'am. Look, look at the subsurface scattering on the ears. Look at the tips of the ears. Oh my god. Huh. What? Oh my god, she looks so. I'm crazy. Wait, can we get um, real quick? We can get some uh, Highlander in here. Whoa, baby, you shouldn't have. 
Holy moly. For me? For me? Her fucking hair is oiled up like mad. Do you see what I'm seeing? Are you looking at this? This is this is with RTX on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so emotional. Okay, but of course, the moment of truth. The mo the moment the moment I know we've all been waiting for. Rothgar. Oh my God! You can see the first shader actually looks insanely good, but of course, this is not what we're here for. <laughs> She's here. Oh my God! It looks insane. I have to get a close up for y'all. I have to get a close up on this fucking. Uh... Oh, do we do Hellions? Okay, Hellions have traditionally been content to reside in southern. Ills apart with their respective tribes, devout servants, their queens, one and all. Let's say they've only but recently begun to make their presence felt throughout the remainder of the three continents. I'm not going to read all of it just this second. I'm going to start with a with a Hellion. Move to an area that actually has the sun in it. Uh -huh. Oh, baby. You know how it goes. Okay. Let's get a really close look on that on that fur, if we can. Please. Oh, do you see that? Oh my God, do you do you see that? Oh, there it is. That's a. It look at that. It's like it's like three D. Can, can I just can I just say literally the best part I'm gonna I'm gonna keep harping on this because I I legitimately think for years this has been this has been the yeah I, yeah I'm sure it's hard to see it 1080p stream quality w watch the watch the 4k VOD on YouTube if you if you can um it'll be a lot clearer I'm sure um the biggest visual issue I think this game has had for years has been the anti-aliasing problem. Um, everything just having like this constant like shimmer breaking up the image. So like all of these improvements are really fantastic on their own. But when I tell you it is being heightened tenfold every time I realize that I'm looking at like a stable image that isn't like shimmering around every time I move. It literally makes a world of a difference. It is actually so important for the overall image quality. And the fact that they didn't, the fact that they didn't have to do that, but they went the extra mile and they not only got TAA in this game, they got DLSS in this game, which I did not even think was physically possible with the way this engine is. Um, it's, it's fucking night and day. It's, it's not even night and day. It is night and like pre Shadowbringers Norvrent. <laughs> like, day doesn't even begin to describe it. Can we please take a moment to appreciate whoever decided to put hip zippers on these clothes? God bless. Nomura strikes again. Okay, I need to actually, I need to actually play around with this. I just, I, the lighting conditions in this benchmark are really pissing me off. <laughs> I will say, <laughs> it's like the one thing I really, like, I really wish would stop happening is that we get the yucky, like, overcast. And this, this happens in the actual game too, by the way. Um, this isn't even like benchmark problem exclusive. It's just like heightened here because I really, I need like bright lighting. Why is the lighting doing this? Okay. Sorry, not sorry. 
Okay, what are we looking at here? Tailwise. Got our classic lion tail. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty cute. Like a like a sausage, just like a long hickory smoke sausage shape. Love that. Pretty simple. Ooh, we have the fine tip. Ooh. The thin lion is actually really, really... It's a, that's a nice look. I like that. Oh, but I do really like how fluffy the other one is, too. I don't know. It's hard to pick. Please, someone give me the sun! I'm begging you. Am I... Am I insane? Okay. We're, we're just gonna... We're gonna hang out in, in Void World for a little bit. Perfect. Okay, tail length. We, uh, we like a long tail around here. I really like tails being, like, super long and prominent. <clears throat> Maybe you can change the time of day. I can switch it to evening or midday. <laughs> well, did, did you just see? Did you just see how little that changed? Okay, I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay, hold on. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's n no, it's not the low brightness setting. This was happening even on the previous brightness setting. It is it is the compa it's it's like it's like the game just decides it's overcast in the world environment now, which is so, it's just a crazy choice for a character creator. Like, why? Why do? Why do you think I would not want like consistent lighting conditions or like sun brightness in my character creator? It's so weird. The sun just goes darker. Where is not a loud program when you need it? Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll stay we'll stay in void zone for a little bit. Let's get yeah. Let's take a look here. Okay. Face options. Let's go. Number one. Ooh, these change a lot. Oh, holy shit! Whoa! Miss your vibes. They're fantastic. Wow. Okay. You're kind of changing like everything if you change the face for these. Whoa. Wow, this is no si Oh my god. This one looks like like a person. I really like her. I re let, let's start with her. Let's see what we can do with her. Oh my god, I'm cr I'm still cr I'm crazy about the fur shaders right now. And I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have to put up with, like, hundreds of people complaining and complaining online about this update. When I tell you I am, like, stunned by how well this comes together. Ugh. Can we get, like, an unorthodox, like, fur color? Let's see. Yes. Oh my god. They have like they have like a straight okay, we we did see. They have like a straight like a pink fur. Oh my god. Crazy. Uh, you can just make your gal hot pink. And you can even um oh my god, and you can change the fur color. Whoa! Holy shit! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay, I see. I see. Hold on. Let's 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 hop back up over here. Let's get something a little more subtle going for this end. Yeah, I kind of like that. Something with like that that warm tone, but not quite as bold. All right, hair hairstyle time. Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! 
Oh, she's everything to me. Are you kidding me? Oh, and this is the uh, this is the meteor in the trailer. Oh, perfect. Wow, this is so good. This one, this with a little flick of hair in the front. Oh, baby. We're so back. God, I'm so glad I have uh, like nothing to do until Monday because I could I could be here forever. I am I am demolishing my sleep schedule today for the for the sake of this. Okay. Give me my lion girl the kitty whiskers makeup as a prank. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hold on for a color. Oh my god, what am I? Okay, oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, let's get that going. It's gotta be like, oh my god, wait. I am going to become part of you. She has to have white for accent so that she can be a part of the scion of the seven signs of the seventh dawn. They only recruit people who have white hair in that in that team for some reason. Okay, yeah, actually though the vibes here are flawless. Whoa. Those look like those look like scars. Ah, brother, help me. No. Ah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This one's kind of happening. And then we can even just change the pattern itself. Whoa. Whoa. The stripes? They're great. Whoa. Oh my God. Yeah, this fucks. This fucks severely. I do kind of wish the... the highlight color was more prominent in the hair itself, but I'm sure that depends on... what style you pick. No, they're all kind of... They're all kind of working on the same... Okay, I understand. I think there was like a, like a separate hair color section for them. Uh, we take it. We take what we can get. Let me, um... Let me see if... This is what I want. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. She had, like, a deep purple. Or something. This is a nasty green. Whoa. I kind of like how that cool tone kind of like contrasts with it a little bit, but I think maybe we do maybe we do this. Yeah, that oh that blends in nice. I think okay. Uh, let's do jawline jawline time. My favorite part. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I like this long one. Yeah. 
There we go. Eye shape, let's go. Ooh! This one's so pretty. All pretty subtle, as is to be expected. I love this one. We're doing that one for sure. She looks so lively. Higher size, large, small. Kind of love the idea of getting small in there, yeah. Ooh. I do wish there were more hair options. Yeah, I, um... I mean, I assume you'll be working with some aesthetician options as well when you get into the game proper. Probably not as many as you'd like, because it is, you know, a new Final Fantasy XIV race, which means endless suffering for all time, but... Whoa. Whoa. She has pink eye. We just do like kind of a kind of like a kind of like a pure white. I like that. Very smoky. She does look kind of like a furry lightning. Oh, shit. Well, we know... Now we know what uh, outfit we're dressing her up as. In. Oh! Oh my gosh! Whoa! You change your whole mood! Oh, I kind of I kinda like her being a little... Oh, she's so pleasant. Oh, such a good vibe. Nose time. What are we working with? Yes. 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 Wowie zowie. I like that one. I like just a big nose. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I like that a lot. Let's fucking go. Bang link. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, he's taking away your teeth! Well, let's do, let's do, let's do in the middle. Oh. Whoa! Okay. I see. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like having those little, those little wisps kind of shooting out of. Yeah, that's really neat. Ooh, put on some mascara. Love that. Some eyeliner. Love that, too. We're going to go for that. Whoa! Nice. Not my jam, but that's for somebody. So cool. The tattoos. Ooh! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. I think for me it's either it's either an all or nothing kind of situation. I think it's all for now at least. Two color. You can change the color. These are I can't I can't believe these are tattoos in this crazy fucked up world we live in. I don't want to I mean, I don't want to change that too much. Kind of like them being Somewhat neutral color. Yeah, just like a gray. That's nice. Alright. Face paint. Whoa. Working with. You can add freckle freckles to your cat. If that's that's your jam. I do like what was Joy said. Adding the kitty whiskers is so cute, actually. That's <laughs> that's so silly. I'm very into that actually. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna go with it, but it's really, really funny. I feel like some... Some damn eyeshadow going. Ooh, like some crazy... Yes! Let's get this in a different lighting environment. Whoa, this looks very different. Oh my god, yeah. Hey, the skin tone is behaving differently than I expected. 
Hold on. Let's circle back around. one this one is supreme out of the ones I've tried yeah that looks really nice yeah that one comes together very nicely for me okay um not much left not much left the voice very important oh my god the emotes Whoa, not true. That's a lie. That's the deceiver. Oh, I like that. Spirited. One sec. It's voice seven. It's voice seven for me. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. We save this. Our first lion. You like cannot read that, I understand. It says our first lion. Bigger Pella. <laughs> Bigger boot. Whoa! That is not the vibe I was expecting. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to look like that. She got so bulked up. The you know what it's the it's the extra it's the pauldrons. It's adding so much bulk in her shoulders. Are you scared? I'm a little I'm a little frightened, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little intimidated. We could go with race specific gear, but that's a little boring. What did I say I wanted to try? Oh, uh, lighting attire. <laughs> that's that's cute. I don't know if I I don't know if I'm gonna go for it. It's it's not the vibe. Okay, talk about bulking up the shoulders. Holy moly. Actually, so cute. Oh, maybe you know what? Maybe this is the time to do the tantalus attire. She actually kind of pulls it off nicely. Hold on, we'll, we'll put a pin in that. Oh, Leonhard, Leonhard attire. Moonward. Oh, <gasps> okay, okay. Actually, though, this looks really good. She pulls that off flawlessly. The, yeah, this shit, this shit is not updated. <laughs> Whoa! Hold on. Oh, baby! Hold on a second. Are you telling me? It's, it's Edenmorn. Oh my god, it's Edenmorn. Are you fucking kidding me? It's Edenmorn. Not like, no question about it. I'm not even. I'm not even going to spend time deliberating it. Hi, Pella. Did you forget me? No. What? No. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Scary. Okay. I'm gonna up the, up the sound just a tad more. Let's bring that up to 20, 19, maybe? 20, 20. Ooh. 
Let's see. Let's see our kitty cat. Oh my god, the Edenborn gear. It's gonna, it's gonna look so good. It's like not even updated too, which is fantastic. Wow, the fur. Oh my god. She is, she is mothering a little bit. I can't lie. Wow. Oh my god, she's, oh, she looks so good. Yeah, how the fuck do I read this shit? This shot makes me go insane. This is a PS4 game, finally. Did, hold on a second. Did my Chocobo barding change when I changed my gear? Is that a little Easter egg? Is that different? I might be crazy. I could have sworn that was different. It looked a little low res, but maybe that's just me looking too close. We'll we'll catch it on the on the wraparound. I will be watching this again, just so you know. I've literally, I've been watching the YouTube version non-stop ever since they dropped it. I think I've watched it maybe like 25 times in the past like 24 hours. The new job here. Like, you can, you can barely catch a glimpse of it here, but it still looks amazing. Everything just blends into the environment so much more naturally. Maybe we can finally get a score this time. No, are you kidding me? Actually, I feel like... No, I should. Wait. I totally should do a score, because if you, if you get a score, they, like, show you a funny a funny little screen at the end. Also, it would be nice to flex a little bit. <laughs> Just so you know. Oh my God, that scholar gear. I wish that scholar was a job I had any interest in playing ever throughout my entire life. Because that scholar artifact gear is extremely cute. I, but like, I cannot, I cannot bring myself to even want to understand how Scholar works, much less actually like get to that point. Okay. Um, I think I've seen enough of Lion Last for now. I want to get my score. Um, so here's, here's what I'll do. Let's bring, uh, let's turn off loop. Let's turn, uh, Sable logo and benchmark score display off. Open character creator again. <clears throat> We go. Do we want to do it with Pella again? I might want to do it with Pella again. She looks so good. 
She looks so good, is the thing. Maybe I try it with the race-specific gear and we get some nice close-ups on the new updates on that. That would be pretty cool, I think, actually. Get Pella... You want to get Pella Prime in there? Ooh. Actually. We should, uh, we, we should get a Pella Prime in there. For old time's sake. Let's, let's get a, let's get a Makote run. Um, actually, actually, here. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a current Pella run. I'm gonna get my score with Pella Peach as she stands. I want my funny shot of it saying like hi or something or whatever it says at the end when you get it, when you get a good one. I want it with Pella. Oh, you know what though? I have it capped to 60. I wonder if that'll affect my score at all. It might. Maybe I should... See, I don't want to uncap it and have it, like, stress my system while I'm streaming. That's really the main problem. Let's, let's, let's try it with the 60 cap and see what that does. We might still get, like, a, like, a decently, a decent reading. Yeah, you can only do Viper. I wish they let you, like, preview different classes, but they only, um... They only show you the the featured job for every expansion. Every expansion has like one or two like showcase jobs, especially if they're new. Actually, that's not that's not even really true. I know, I want to see Pictomancer. I want to play Pictomancer. Not not much longer now, all things considered. It's the end of June. It's just a couple months. Less than three months, yeah. If if you think about that like week by week. That shit is gonna fly by. I just have to, like, my, my personal way of thinking is like, I just stop, I just stop wanting it. <laughs> and it'll, uh, and it'll happen. You know what? I wonder if, um... There's just something I was thinking about with the graphics update that I was curious about. Oh! I wonder if they fixed the physics issue when you play at higher than 60 frames per second. Because if you don't know, if you play this game um, at above 60 FPS, your, like, character model physics, like hair physics, tail physics, jiggle physics, and everything, will actually be, like, broken a little bit. Like, like they'll, they'll become a lot more subtle because the animations are playing, like, so fast and so, like, stiffly that you won't see them as, um, you won't see those effects as, as prominently. So the game actually ends up looking a lot stiffer if you play at higher frame rates than 60, which is so weird. So I, I, I wonder if they fixed that. I would hope so. I would hope that they're 
some of their new systems have kind of made up for it. If they're if they're developing for like modern systems, I feel like they kind of would have had to. Yeah, if, you, if so, if you like go in game and you run around for a second and like look at like especially if you have like a long hairstyle that like goes down to or past your shoulders, um, which is rare in this game, I know. <laughs> uh, I am aware. Um, run around with the FPS packs past 60 and then lock it to 60 and notice the difference. It's it's actually like, with certain hairstyles, it's like night and day. It's crazy. Perhaps when I'm off stream, I'll run this uh, without the 60 FPS cap and see. Because I assume this would be a good showcase for it. I usually play around 90 to 120 and I to mod in better physics for my VR's ponytail. Yeah, there are mods that do fix it, but um, I would hope they address that natively for Dawn Trail onward. <clears throat> I mean, I'll probably keep my game locked to 60 for the foreseeable future anyway. I don't, like, even though my, I could absolutely handle running this game up to 120, um, with my rig, but I don't like pushing games to the absolute limit of my hardware unless the game, like, literally requires it. Like, if I play, like, an Alan Wake 2, that game is gonna be heavy on my system no matter what I do, so I might as well just, like, live within the chaos, right? But if I can get a game to run at a rock-solid 60 frames per second, at native 4K or 4K with DLSS with only maybe like a maximum of like 70 to 80% GPU usage, I will I will do that. If I can get as low as like 50% GPU usage, I'm a happy camper. So I actually run a lot of games at 60. Hi! Oh. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? What's going on? Who are these people? Oh, that's so cute. Okay. <clears throat> All right. What else? Do we want to do, do y'all have any requests for things that you want me to look at? Um, maybe things you want me to compare with our, with our current Pella angle here, uh, character creation comparisons. Can you lock the FPS low to force a fail? I, I don't know a lot about benchmarks. I don't think that's how it works. Oh, we have not looked at all raw yet. No, we have not. I will hold on. So I got I got a request for dark skin and also aura. We actually we briefly took a look at the darker skin tones earlier, but we can we can dive into that for sure. I don't even think I'll need the comparison for these, but um, I can pull that up. New graphics Highlander looks incredible. Oh yeah, no we we saw that much for sure. We have looked at Vieira's, yeah. Um, but here's here's what I'll do. Let's create a character. Start from scratch. Okay. Let's look at an Aura. I'm gonna make a lady. Oh my god. Just the immediate. Oh my god, immediately. It looks so good. But I'm not gonna hold on. Let's let's like get into it, into it. Mm -hmm. Let's do like what skin tones do you have mm -hmm. on offer? Oh, you got some darker ones for sure. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so let's 
I just like the vibes of this one a little better. <laughs> the fucking overcast thing is happening already. I just loaded in. Okay, so first of all, the new- the scales and the horns. Oh my god. Absolutely crazy. Um, the tails as well, looking super crisp. You see a very subtle kind of like glint off of that. Like the materials on those are a lot more noticeably like, I don't know, bone-like. Okay. These are looking great. These look awesome. Let's go with these. I think these are pretty common, honestly. Okay. We're gonna go for... <clears throat> Let's go for a darker skin tone here. Ooh. I think like... What are we feeling? Maybe like something around... Around here? Yeah, I can play around with that. Okay. <clears throat> so immediately, oh, let's look at uh, let's look at evening conditions because this was like a big thing they mentioned they addressed was like dark skin tones in darker lighting conditions having a much more realistic like way of contouring the skin. Yeah. That looks so nice. Oh my god, that looks so good. And in the in room. Oh, it looks so good. That's a big improvement, as far as I can tell. That's huge. You know what? I mean, we don't even have to... We don't even have to make too many guesses. Hold on. Can we, like... One sec. Oh, no. This is the... This is the esthetician. I wouldn't be able to. Fuck, I forgot. I would have to... I could maybe... I could, like, exit the game and just, uh... Pull up, uh... An aura in the character creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, the face paints were also something I noticed. I do hope we see, um... Whoa. Well... I, I, d I realize now I did press exit game. I meant to log out. That's my bad. I was like, what's happening? Can we see the Endwalker benchmark in your system to see how much the FPS is affected? In a general sense? Um, what do you mean? Because I've I've run it like five times. <laughs> I don't know if you're just getting here, but. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, the N Walker benchmark. That's my bad. I completely it's it's early. I apologize. Um I'm going to I'm going to say I don't really I appreciate the idea and if I were uh in any more of a mood to like set all that up, I would love to, but I'm really not. <laughs> I'm like not in the mood to set up the N Walker benchmark right now. I apologize. Okay. So like let's let's take a look at some of these similar conditions here. What are we working with? So we did a female aura. Rain. Uh then in terms of skin tone, I believe it was this one. I think. And this this face. I mean like I 
I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> like, hold on. Let me, um, let me see if I can get the same, like, lighting conditions here. So, if oh, she's, like, in front of the door. So let's, I mean, what is, what is there to even be, to, to even be said? Um, let's go for, like, the darkest skin tone we can yeah looks really good it's a huge improvement the just the overall like way that the lighting Again, it's it's all about the way the lighting like contours and bounces around the face and the environments. It's it's so hugely improved. Let's look at uh yeah, let's look at the Lenosha. Oh, you know what? Uh how do I Oh, square. There we go. Yeah, it looks so much more natural. That's really nice. I like that. Okay. <clears throat> Is there anything else we want to look at that we haven't already? Um, let's see. Oh, let's look at um, let's look at some femros. I haven't looked at femros yet. I, I realize. Sea wolves. Let's go. Let's look at the sea wolves. Yes. Oh yeah, Lollafells. We'll take a look at those next. Holy moly, man! Your vibes are incredible. Oh, I love this face. This face looks so nice. Yeah, the the new hair detail, just the new hair in general. Almost all of it just looks unbelievably good. You know what? I, you know what I want to look at. Um, they were talking about the new like. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this will this will be good to look at. One sec. They were talking about the new like hair lighting uh, system and how they kind of like the lighting kind of like breaks up into different sections of the hair a little more naturally and distinctly here let me let me get to let me pick a hairstyle that'll like show this off I mean like first of all just Oh, I didn't have that hair equipped. Never mind. One sec. Okay. What's a hair with like a bunch of different like parts to it? That. Ooh, this could be good. These pigtails. That might be a good hair. Let's. Let's like put a. Let's put a pig in that. One sec. Be good to. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, something like that, I think, would. This, oh my god, okay, we'll do that. We'll do those three, and we'll kind of swap through. So I'm going to move to the in room. <laughs> I mean, like, first of all. It, like, it looks kind of gross right now. 
just knowing how much more natural everything looks. Let me um let me pick a a darker hair color as well because this will help show it off a little more. I think. Let's pick like like this. Yeah, this like deep this chestnut or whatever. Yeah, cool. I just want to look at the hair. So we'll start. We'll start with that one. Now let me uh, let me go back to my computer screen. Let me get all that set up. What did I pick? What did I pick? This one. I picked this one. And the tails. Yes. And then hair color. I picked no highlights and. Kind of deep brown. Cool. Um, so immediately, just looking at the way it looks, just on like a on like a still shot here. That's insane already. But I really want to like examine kind of how the light kind of like moves across like the different sections here and specifically examine how it like mostly doesn't. There's like not a ton of like variation in how it moves across the different parts. It's got kind of like a very uniform kind of glint to it. Whereas here, let's let's see if there's an okay. Yeah, yeah. So like like the individual sections of the braids, do you see how they all get like their own kind of like it's almost like the lighting is like doing the wave on on that section. Do you see the way it like kind of moves through it? And sa same with this here. Everything, every section has like its own individual like contouring about it. Let's look at a different style like this one. Yeah, do you see how like here, so let's take like this angle right here. Then we. You see how like every. Every section on the new one, you can't really see my mouse kind of like, but it has like its own individual like highlight for every like parted section. Do you see that? Do you see what I'm talking about? Whereas this one, you kind of get like this, like one uniform, like, like it's broken up a little bit just due to the shape of the hair, but you can really see how it like, it all kind of feels like one blob of highlighting, just kind of like moving through. Whereas here, like every section of the hair has its own like streak because they're all like individually parted. Cause you have that one across like the bangs, it's moving like side to side, but the one on like the top of her hair is kind of staying, it's like wiggling up and down. You see what I mean? And then, you know, all the other strands at the bottom, all the other parts, and then this one, they kind of all just like rotate in the same way. This is like one thing they were talking about that I was particularly excited to see. Oh, it's so good. It's such a huge improvement. Get it in here too. Oh my God, man. Oh my God, the way it like, shing. Like it, it travels through the bangs and the top of the hair separately. Oh, 
You see that? You like, you do not get that. In the old one. Not like, not even remotely. That's like not the same thing. Wow. Yeah, I cannot wait to see... I can not only not wait to see new cutscenes, but also, like, old cutscenes made new with, with this setup here. This is... Oh my god, I cannot wait to replay... I cannot wait to replay previous expansions. I might not be able to handle handle it. Sorry. Pretty nice color for this. Yeah. Oh. People with blue eyes look at you like. I'm just kind of taking it in now. She looks so good. Everything looks amazing. Happy to report my benchmark score is extremely high. Let's fucking go. Love to hear it. Hi. <laughs> I made the mistake of expecting that this benchmark would hold me over because I'm going to be honest, I was kind of expecting it to be less of just like a revolutionary overhaul than it than it ended up being. And now my problem is that I just want to play this now. Like, it's going to be so difficult to get used to the the current game again after this like genuinely um they undersold it they really did and you you know what you know what i really think contributed to this like being undersold the fucking stream bit rates that they kept showcasing these updates with it is crazy to me that up until the 4K benchmark trailer we got like a couple days ago, um, we had only seen images and video clips of this graphics update through like super bitrate compressed, like shitty Twitch stream quality. Um, like that just actually truly did not do justice to 
the way that it all comes together when it's sitting in front of you. Sorry, I just started looking at how nicely the lighting is like bouncing off of the back walls here and like how good those buildings in the distance look. Do you see that? Those windmills. Again, it's like, it's the kind of thing you only are really going to see in the 4K version, I think. Ugh. I gotta make a Lollafell. I gotta make a Lollafell next. Muscle Town? Oh, shit. I mean, yeah. Whoa! Holy moly! What the fuck? Oh! You get so much more out of that with the new lighting. Holy shit! I don't think you're allowed to do that. I was messing around with the benchmark and I'm happy to report Ella's and earrings act as flashbangs in some lighting. Finally, the game is good. on trail. Do we dare take her on a run through the... Oh. Do we dare take her on a run through the benchmark? Just for fun? Oh, let's go? Oh. 
I think I think I'm done with the um with the PS5 comparison. It you served me very very well. We get the idea though. If y'all want to see more comparisons, I recommend just looking up footage of the game. But I assume a lot of people who are remaining here at this point already understand how huge this is. I don't like how my character looked in the creator, but she looked fine in the actual benchmark. I suspect that that is because the actual like character creator environment is very, very not final and is suffering some like weird lighting bugs that will m hopefully not be present in the final thing because I have been running ish into a damn issue with the like creator environment. I think it's going to come together a lot more in the final thing. I think as long as you can get it looking as good as you can in the current creator we have in this uh, benchmark, as long as it looks good in the final like benchmark cutscene, it'll it'll almost certainly look that good in in Dawn Trail release. I just think, uh, yeah, the the lighting in the character creator goes way too dim way too often. And it's extremely weird. Okay, let's, speaking of the cutscene part, let's run it. I'm, I'm making characters I never dreamed of making before just to see how they tick. What happened to my dang, what happened to my dang V-Sync? I feel like V-Sync got turned off because I've been noticing a lot of screen tearing. Ugh. Thank you for that shot. Evil? She's not evil. She's normal. She looks like Ganondorf. <laughs> she kind of does. Oh, shit. It's not the vibe I was going for, but I'll take it. The fuck am I looking at? Man, fuck this. Come on. Also, no, that is the same Chocobo gear regardless. <sighs> Finally, I can make a Final Fantasy XIV cutscene movie 4K 60 FPS. Time band up of the Dawn Trail benchmark. It would just it would just be Dawn Trail dubbed over. This has the same amount of dubbable material as Subspace does, and that is to say none. Oh, this guy's about to jack off. What the fuck, Mom will jaw. I hope he doesn't fuck my mom. This big snake looks so good, man. What I want to do, um... What I want to do... I see you turn into a giant woman. A giant woman! What I want to do in preparation for Dawn Trail release is... Um, do a stream 
where I take requests of cutscenes to play in the current graphics and I make a list and then when Dontrell comes out, we watch all of those same cutscenes again with the same character and the same like clothes and everything in the same order. And then I can put them side by side and just like make a comparison video. So like start thinking about cutscenes you want me to watch from any expansion. Um, cause I will need suggestions. How short are you allowed to make your character? You're gonna love this next one we make. You're gonna you're gonna love stay tuned. Stay tuned, that's all I'll say. Alvino jumping into the water. Okay, you have to you have to find out. Okay, so not only think about what cutscene you want me to watch, but please try to like have it written down somewhere. Um what cutscene it is in the unending journey in in rooms because i'll just be i'll just be using that so you you gotta like you gotta like give me an address basically as to where i can find it but again this is gonna be in like this is gonna be like in like june when i do this so just try to have it somewhere you remember it, if you want to take part in this. Oh, obviously, I'll announce what I'm doing ahead of time as well, to remind people. So good. God, she looks so good. All right. Let's let's get a la la in here. Let's make let's make dreams come true. For for Twitch user Super Caleb. Let's get let's get freaking small. Literally like like we're we're about to see like two polar opposites happen. Okay. Get small. Oh she's so cute! Oh my god, wait. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh my god, they look so they actually look so good. The difference is, oh, baby, hold on. It's like subtle when you're looking at, I mean, like it's subtle on a macro scale, but like if you, if you know what to look for, oh God. The eyes, oh, the eyes. Make her smaller, you got it. How low can you go kind of situation. Give her the mullet, I agree. Sad Lala. Oh, extra sad Lala. Let's go with this one. Oh, the new ears? Oh my God, the new ears. If, if you're looking at these ears and you're like, Penny, what's different about the ears? I don't get it. Go look at a picture of current N. Walker Lalafell ears and look at these. They look so much better. I'm trying to get like subsurface scattering on these happening. 
Hold on. Maybe, um, your size. Let's go crank that up. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, you can kind of see it. Whoa. Yeah, you can't see it as much in the in room. Yeah. Again, I'm sure it'll it'll happen a lot more consistently in the final game. Uh, for now, let's actually make a dang character here. I want. I actually really want to see how a Lalafell takes on the benchmark. We're gonna we're gonna see a lot of camera angle changes. I'm sure. Let's give her a nice like. Nice kind of tan, kind of tan look. I like that. Oh my god, she looks so cute. It's it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. Everybody is getting a glow up to the highest degree. Okay. Hairstyle time. Oh, I love this one. Really, really cute. We'll pin that one. Also, pin this one as well. There's one that's like Lalafell. Oh. No, okay. This one is not Lalafell exclusive, but I think this one looks. This one is peak on Lalafells. You can have this one on like here as well, I think. But like. Oh my god, this hairstyle is, is perfect Lalafell vibes, if you ask me. Very, very powerful bangs. That's cute too. That's the that's the Pella hairstyle. For Pella basic. We're going with this one, I think. I can't not. It's so it's so cute. Okay, what hairstyle? Let's do something lighter. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And we can uh we can give her kind of like a We're kind of accenting on the on the highlight. That's pretty cute. Oh, right, the pompadour. Duh. Forgot. There you go. As the sun uh, goes away. Hold on, here it comes, here it comes. It's coming back. Oh, yeah. There you go. Maybe, maybe I actually, maybe I have these in reverse. One sec. Hold on. I might be onto something with this. Ooh, maybe I have these in reverse. Ah! Is that not what I started with? This might be exactly what I started with. Hold on. There we go. It is, but we can forgive. Thank you. So many people can't in this PC cancel culture world. I 
Cool. We'll just go with that. Uh, jaw style. Woohoo! <laughs> we got ourselves that Calart style going on. Love to see it. Mine was designed by Rebecca Sugar. That's what she says. Okay. How striking can you make the eyes? Can you just make them like glisten and glow? Oh, yes, you can. They can still get pretty bright. Love that. Oh, you know what? I actually just realized I never um I never looked at the eyes on the Aura. I'm sure someone will do it for me. I do have to get sleep at some point today. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm only human. All the Dawn Trail content looks so cool. Only just finished Era. I need to lock in and finish everything else before June. I would say two things. One, best of luck. Two, you really don't. <laughs> you really don't have to. I know, I know, like, it feels like it would absolutely suck to, like, miss out on the hype and everything. Um, but you're going to get the most out of this game if you really just, like, take your time with it. It, yeah, everything will still be there, regardless of how long it takes. This ain't Destiny 2. You know, we're not... We're not removing entire campaigns. Um, I promise you, the game will... You will be, like, rewarded intrinsically for, for taking your time with it. Promise you that. So just uh, just enjoy the ride. Don't don't rush it. Don't rush it. And hey, you know what? Here's here's the cool thing. Every like graphical improvement, quality of life feature, everything on a system level that's coming with Dawn Trail, you're gonna get on release anyway. So even even if you're still in like Heaven's Ward by June, by end of June, start of July, when you log in after Dawn Trail comes out. You're still going to have, like, a shiny new character, free Fantasia, all this, all this new stuff to, like, play around with and just... So, you, so you'll, you'll still be a part of it in your own way. Starting in 7.0, Heaven's Word will be vaulted, so enjoy your runs in the vault while you can. <laughs> no, God. I was going to say, God, I wish. I don't. I don't wish. I think I mean to say, like, could you imagine? Yeah, of course, Laser Cat. Hey, and you know what? Thank you for taking the advice. There we go. Big eyebrows. Expressive big eyebrows. Yes! The FF11 knows. Let's go. Ooh. Shiny Lala earrings. Love that. Very cute. I'm almost done with my Lala. Oh, god damn. See, this is why we need the sun to exist. It, it makes everything look better. She needs freckles. Oh my gosh, does she need freckles? Yeah! 
Yes! Yes! She needs freckles like a fish needs water. I'm telling you this in 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 spirit and in truth. Maybe we do go for like the lighter eye color. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that one. Or maybe like, maybe even. Just make, let's just make her look like a Sims mod. Perfect. No. No. Good. I like this one. We're gonna call you... Karen Lightning. Yeah! Alright, what do you wear, Miss Karen? You wear your... Ooh, the Lalafell race gear would be very nice. Do you wear the jobs? Do you wear the Viper gear? Dreadwear, maybe we finally give somebody the Tantalus gear. Might be the way to go. No, wait. Oh, no. She's she's Karen Lightning. She gets the lightning gear. Duh. What was I thinking? All right. We're going to we're going to run her through it. Let's see these new uh Lalafell exclusive angles. I really like the Ana Bas Ana Basilos? Ana Anabase Ana Baseos gear. <laughs> I had a hard time reading that. Oh my god. It's getting so late. Slash early. Oh cutie! Did the did the boat change size to accommodate her? Oh my god, it totally did. This is a tiny ass boat now. Wow, that really is a small fucking boat. What is this, a boat for ants? Her ass is not surviving rough waters. Should have took care of that moon while she was up there. Now the, now the first tide comes in and you're, you're toast, you're fish food. Oh, but she is such a cutie, oh my god. Her, her vibes fit so nicely here. And of course, we have a tiny chocobo to match. Look at how small it is! <laughs> yes! I love the tiny Lala mounts. Oh, baby. You, you know what? You know what doesn't fit this environment though? The lightning gear. I kind of regret picking that one. Kind of wish I had picked a different one.
really getting the grass detail during this run. Yeah. Well, just, be just because sh she's so short. Look at that small thing run through. What is that, a clown pewter? Bet it got no tomes on it. She, yeah, she's so powerful. I can't wait for the last shot. I'm still crazy about the new gear materials. Also, that shot of the two miners, um, by the way, sneaky little preview. You see one of them is wearing, um, like a, like a, like a mining helmet that has like a face covering, but then the Hrothgar is just wearing the face covering. Little, little sneak preview about how the face covering is now separated into its own slot that Hrothgar can wear because it's not a hat technically anymore. Because in case you've forgotten, not only are we getting the graphics update, not only are we getting two die channels for every piece of gear, but also one thing that has not been mentioned since the first fan fest for Dawn Trail. So it's like been very easy to forget. The new face slot. You we're getting like a new like glasses and face item slot separate from hats. So you can wear glasses with hats now. Or you like you will be able to. Not now. Yeah! They, that was like one of the first things they announced in terms of like cosmetic updates. In, in, the, in the same slide, like, as two die channels, they announced, uh, face... No, not as a fashion accessory. Not as a fashion accessory. It is... It is a separate glam slot. It's... It's crazy. I, I, I assume it's going to be purely cosmetic. I, I don't think they would go through the trouble of introducing stats to it. But yeah, we don't, I mean, we don't know a lot of how, we don't know a lot about how it's going to work because they, they've only mentioned it. Look at her go! They've only mentioned it once and they haven't, they haven't brought it up since, but... Yeah, it would it would be weird to do that. They did just get rid of belts. Yeah, exactly. So I don't think they're gonna introduce like a new type of gear with stats tied to it. I think I think they're just gonna make it like a glam exclusive thing. I imagine it might be like a separate slot on the character menu. Here, let me let me let me show let me show you. Hold on. Las Vegas. Vegas fan fest. Um, yeah, eight months ago is when we saw this keynote. Talk about the graphics update here. Here, see. So, we uh, updates. Yeah, so they announced. Two dies per gear piece, which got the biggest cheer. It's called. Eyeglasses. A new type of gear that can be equipped alongside headgear. So, so they go out of their way to to call it gear. Um. Let me let me actually listen to what they say about it, because maybe they talk about the stats thing, and I just forgot. Eh, 
頭装備をつけると眼鏡がかけれない眼鏡をかけると頭装備が消えるっていうのが、まあ、これまでだったんですけど、えー、7.0 から、まあ、できるだけ、まあ、7.0 間に合わせる予定で今、進んでますが、えー、眼鏡をですね頭装備つけたまま眼鏡つけられるようになります。Okay, so you know, until now it was the situation where if I want to wear a helmet, I can't wear eyeglasses. If I want to, like, and then I put anything on my head and there's no glasses and it's tragic.、Um, so we will do our best to make sure this is implemented in 7.0 so that you will be able to wear headgear and glasses at the same time. Does he clarify anything else? Eh, Mina san no naka de des ne, eh, hachinin raid to ka, zets to ka, yoke itte ryo te yu hito. どれぐらいいます ?How many of you frequently play 8-man raids or ultimates? Oh, I think. Oh, no, okay. I think he's just leading into the. Oh, come on. だけ、まあ、7.0 間に合わせる予定で今、進んでますが、えー、メガネをです。Oh, you know, until now it was the situation where if I want to wear a house. Helmet... <laughs> えー、8... I, I thought. I, I skipped ahead because I thought he was leading into the. The like planner that they introduced as well. Uh, so those folks might be thinking, oh no, does that mean I need to have、yeah. more accessory problems? They're addressing it. So, in this case, the Megane is a good fashion item to ask for the Megane. The parameter is not the same. The Amari chest of Skawana Kotomo Naino. How many of you play Amar Raids or Ultimates? Have I got news for you? New furnishings. Tada paper door carne, so be the Kirioniwa, Shibasno de Sokoa and Shinsik. Any questions? Yes, several. So, for these new glasses, while you will be able to equip them on your character like gear,、uh, system wise, they are not treated like gear. They will not take up space in your armory chest, so do not worry. Holy shit. I wonder what they will not take up space in your armory chest means. Like, does that mean there will not be an armory chest category for eyeglasses? Or. No, it's, no, it's, not, like, it's not like fashion accessories. Because fashion accessories are like a whole different system. They are, they are going out of their way to specify that this is gear that will be equipable like gear. And I assume, like, fashion accessories, but persist. But yeah, it's, it, it, but it's, it's not fashion accessories because I, you know, I assume it will not overlap with the existing fashion accessory system. It's like, it's going to be a slot. A glam slot on the character menu that you can put accessories, eyeglass accessories into, but they just won't have stats tied to it. I'm mainly just wondering how the inventory side of that is gonna work. If if it's not, if if they I I mean I mean this the simplest explanation is that it's gear without stats. It's literally that's all it is. It's gear without stats that can also be glammed. To like a glamour plate. That's it. What I'm, what I'm curious about is they specify it won't take up space in the armory chest. I wonder if they mean that in more of just like a casual, like it won't take up space, as in it, like it won't get in the way. It won't like be in the same slots as like rings and earpieces and stuff like that. And it'll have like its own category. That's just kind of out of the way. Or if that just means you will have to keep them in your actual inventory, which I would not prefer. But、um, I mean, there's really not much you speculating past, past that point because、um, we don't know. This, this is literally all they've said about it. <laughs> they, have not, they have not brought this up one time. Because,、um, I mean, I assume there's not much to talk about. I honestly think. I honestly think the next we will hear of this is like. The patch notes for 7.0, if I'm being honest.
I, I don't I don't expect to hear more about eyeglasses in like any live letter or anything, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, okay. Is there anything I want to do in the benchmark? I've I feel like I've maybe had my fill for tonight. I'm getting so so sleepy. <sighs> We've still got two left before Dawn Trail. Yeah. And I guess like I guess it wouldn't take up that much time to talk about the glasses thing, but I feel like they're going to have to spend enough time talking about like job changes and everything. I don't know if they would dedicate live letter space to eyeglasses. If they do it, I straight up would expect it like an addendum in like the last one, you know? Maybe. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll um, I'll call it here. What a what a great night! I'm so happy. It looks good. It looks damn good. Graphics update looks just. I I'm so happy. It's everything I wanted. It's everything I wanted. Uh, and more. Um. Vodheads, I'll leave you off here. Thank you for watching me gush over this and, and try out all kinds of different things. Um, I'll be playing with this more on my own time, I'm sure. I I just I just I'm I'm gonna be sad to not have it in game. I'm gonna be sad to not have it in game, but I've seen it with my eyes. I can have confidence that it's gonna look good, which I think spiritually will hold me over until Dawn Trail. So I think now. I finally have had this like moment of re like release. I've had so much like hype build up for the graphics update specifically. Now that I've like seen it in front of me and I know it looks as fantastic as it does, all of my wishes have been granted. New AA, DLSS, like new animation systems for mounts and stuff. Like I, it was everything I wanted and more. And I finally know. So now I can put my hype energy back into like the actual content. And there's a lot to get excited about there too, which is uh, extremely exciting. Hi, Claire. Oh, we're actually just wrapping up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, we're, 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 just, we're just calling it. I, I gotta get some sleep. But um, I will have the, uh, I'll have the 4K version up on YouTube as soon as I can. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh man, I'm so happy. Um. So yeah, Vodheads, thank you for watching. More Dawn Trail hype. Uh, when it when it when it is appropriate, when it happens, we we have we have a schedule as to the next like, the media tour and everything, which should bring its own fun little things. But in terms of like what I'll be streaming, unless there's like a really big live letter before the launch. I don't know. You might just see some intermittent stuff here and there. But until next time, take care of yourselves.